Hello guys and welcome to a, a new tutorial. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make these mountains using Omri 4's landscape editor. Uh, this was requested by Tyler Anderson. He saw these over on my devlog video and he asked if I would show how to uh, make these with the tools in Unreal. Now there are other ways of doing this. You could use an, uh, an external program such as World Editor to create a height map and then bring that in, and you would you can get some really nice results. Um, but for simple mountains like this, I'm going to show you guys how we can um, how we can actually do this um, just using the landscape tools. So I'm just going to float over to a to a nice little empty area because this is actually in my project folder. We can see some of the block out. Do, do, do. Let's increase this camera speed really quick. There we go. Let's zoom on over. So let's turn a bit down now. First thing we need to do is we actually need to go to our landscape tab, and then we can actually create a landscape. And you'll you'll get like these nice squares. Each one of these squares is a uh, a different piece of landscape, but they all combine together. Now. That would be in the manage tab. I already have this built up, but you can see that each one of these oranges is a separate piece of landscape. But you can say add some more if you wish. So we, I could always just tag some more to the end over here. I'm not going to because I don't I don't need to right now for my project. Uh, and then you can take some away as well in case you've you've created a, a landscape that's too big. So how did I do these uh, these mountains? Well, it's actually quite simple. So in sculpt with just a regular sculpt tool, I make the tool quite big and I make the tool quite strong. Next what I do is I just throw down some random blobs. Okay, so random blobbiness is good. Let's increase this camera speed. Because this is quite a large area we're working with. So blob 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 blob. So that's a blob. There we go. Here, just get some blobbiness. Now this isn't very mountainy at all, so it's all very very soft and very, very smooth. And you can see we've got like some some blobs. All right, so there we go. We'll just have some higher blobs on this side. And we'll put a nice. Let's go to the back here, and we'll just put a nice big blob right here. Probably too much of a blob, but okay. When in Rome, got a blob. There we go. So we got some nice big blob now. So if we float over here, you'll notice that I have all these nice jagged edges, which you know kind of sell the effect a bit more. Very little of this is very smooth, like these new ones we've just placed over here. Same over here. This is not very smooth at all. This is very very jagged. Now, the way we achieve this, or the way that I achieve this anyway, is under sculpt tool, I changed this to erosion, which has got like this little picture of a sun. Not hydro, but just regular erosion. I'm going to throw down the size of the brush a little, and I'm going to maybe decrease the strength ever so slightly. And now, what this will do is will allow it will allow us to start breaking it. So, see here, this has immediately got rid of some of this some of this smoothness because it's a it's eroding the surface. So, I'm going to do this. No, I didn't like that, so I'm just going to undo. And then I basically just do this in all the little places. Everywhere that I have big smooth bumps. I do this. And it, see here, it's actually created like a little step up, which is quite nice. And then I just do this all the way over the entire piece of blobby terrain. So let's just carve it in some, just get some of this erosion in there. See how nice that's come out now. Very, very, uh, very, very randomized. Not very smooth and blob like. So we get some here as well. A little bit here. Throw some more down. Let's get some here. At the top here, we might have some issue with this. Nope, there we go. Right. Yeah, I'll just break that down a little. T 
take some of that. And I wrote some of this down. So we get a less blobby peak. There we are. We've got some very, very jagged bits here where we've created a bit of mess, but I've just clicked that out. And we've got this very sharp corner here, just erode that down. A little bit there, that's a bit too spiky. And again on the top, just a bit too spiked. Just take that down. There we are. And let's just get the back as well. Probably never going to see this area. So we've got this. Nice eroded surface now. So you can see that's already looking a lot more mountainous. Okay, now I don't like this, so I'll take this down. So what you can do is you can float over to where you, perhaps you'd see this in world space, and now that looks quite nice. Over here on the right, this is still a bit too blobby, so I'm actually going to increase the size of the, the brush here and then just go a little bit ballistic on it. Let's take that down. I'll we'll head back over here. Much nicer. Now I'm getting this nice, this nice fog with an exponential height fog, um, which is just inside of the classes, so you can find an exponential height fog. Um, and just drag this into your your scene, and you can get this nice fog, which actually works really, really well. Now. I was also asked to show you guys how to make the material for this. Now, um, it's my teammate that's made the material that's gone into this landscape. So I cannot um, show you this, unfortunately, as the material's technically not mine. Although, well, I mean, technically it is. We both own this project. Um, so we both own all the content. But he's made this, so I can't show you. But what you, what you generally want to do is get yourself a nice... Uh, a nice rocky texture, like this one that he's created for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could maybe do a substance thing at some point, although I haven't made this material, so I don't have access to the nodes and stuff, so I wouldn't be able to show you guys how he's put this together. So, we're going to throw down rock. Now, I should have increased my tool strength because I've only put down like 30% strength on this. I'm going to quickly throw that up, in fact, just to make sure that this is all rock. <laughs> painty, painty, paint. There we go. There we are. Right. And then we'll do the same with some snow. And I'm going to turn this tool down ever so slightly because we still want to see some of the rock through the snow. Now, generally with a, like a snowy top mountain, you're going to have snow towards the peaks and then in the darker areas because the darker areas are naturally going to be a little bit colder so what I'm going to do is just like throw down some some of this nice snow material oh look at that shininess it's so nice and then I see we've got some nice bit here we can stick some snow in because that's going to be a colder spot and again down here we got some colder spots where we can stick some snow oh it's going to recompile the shaders so when the terrain starts to get more complex it's going to recompile shaders when you start painting things um, because it needs to update the layer info so sometimes you're gonna get this now I'm not gonna continue pressing paint because if you're painting while it's compiling you can sometimes get a nice uh, a nice crash oh we've gone black why have we gone black it's just full-on deleted all the uh, the info there okay well there we go. So we can throw some snow into this little area here. Have it creep out on top a little. There we go. A little creepy. Just stick some here as well. Get a bit more here. And down here we're going to have quite a lot. So we're going to have this creep around a little. And there we go. Some more on the back. Get some in here. Little here, and then plop some up on the top here. We, and then of course it's a it's a case of um, 
just trying to sell this a little better so now we'll we'll come back in with the rock and we'll just blend the edge so we get this nice softer edging rather than it being really really harsh so we'll blend this now you can see that the auto exposure is going absolutely ballistic changing how bright the scene is again and then we can throw some down on the top as well Let's blend out this harsh edge harsh edges do 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 And then we can just float away, and then we've got some nice things. We can just build this light real quick, and then I'll get warned because I don't have a light for. Uh, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Well, Windows firewalls never blocked that before. Cheeky. So. The swarm is done, it's building the lights. We. I like this one, it's got like this nice flat top piece here. And this paint job's been very, 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 very fast. Uh, so I'll we'll probably end up repainting this, hee <laughs> hee. But that might stay in the game, I don't know. We'll see. There we go. So then we got rid of those nasty black lines where are the. Uh, where we had no light data because the, it breaks down the uh, the different sections. So now if I just quickly go down into player view, we have a little guest, and then we head over here. You can see that those are, are quite nice, not quite so blobby and not not very smooth looking. So hopefully this video has helped it was a request as I say um, so thanks to Tyler Anderson for requesting that one I think I'm gonna go record some more as well for you guys so I'll see you guys next time